I'm in the wind tunnel at the National Research Council to show you all the jobs of people who test things like the wind. Here's an example, aerodynamics. Every day, Canada's National Research Council uses science and technology to do thousands of tests. Tests designed to make a faster car, to stop a speeding bullet, or withstand a flying chicken. We can fire them out at about Mach 1. I guess we're testing Mach Chicken then. Here we go. Three, two, one, fire! Chicken fricassee. <laughs> One fast chicken. Our whirlwind tour of the NRC begins in the wind tunnel. So is this an actual race car? Yes, sir. Oh, this is the one they would actually be racing. Yes, I they never. would take this back and they would make these panels uh, more secure. Today I'm on the inside track, helping out the boys from NASCAR's Roush racing team in North Carolina. They've rented the NRC's wind tunnel for a mere $2,300 an hour, looking to shave off a few nanoseconds from their race car's performance. I always love it when, like, highly technical stuff involves duct tape and lots of it. Lower the spoiler five degrees, okay. and we tuck the front fenders in half an inch aside. Half an inch aside. Just a few last modifications to the car, and we're ready to go. Or uh, I should say, blow. Great job. Windy enough for you? Oh yeah. Because well, we can crank it up. No, no, it's fine right now. Don't go away. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to put you to work. Uh oh. Manual on all three. Yeah. So how long did it take you to learn how to do this? It takes about two weeks to find out how to operate these. Like that, and then it takes fun, about eh? five years to get, yeah. so you know what they mean. Bill Baldwin shows me the yeah. controls of one of the world's largest wind tunnels. Three stories tall, a 9,000 horsepower motor that generates hurricane force winds. That's really shooting the breeze. You can actually see the body rippling. It's not only race car teams who have seen the wind at the NRC. Oil rigs, submarines, bridges, airplanes, you name it, they test it. Kite flying made easy. Oh, and now the very important umbrella test. Kind of takes the challenge out of it a bit. Well, I'd say, uh, probably isn't built for this wind, what would you say? Well, what the heck happened here? Well, that's the result of a bird impact test. No. Yep. A bird? Tom Bosick works just a stone's throw away from the wind tunnel where he runs tests that will help in the design of a bird-resistant airplane. Now, I almost hesitate to ask this. How do you check uh, for birds in windshields? We use chickens that are put down and we literally fire them out of our cannon, similar to the cannon on Air Force, but we've got oh, the real thing. This is the real thing this and the real, real chicken. Thing. That's right. Now, uh, how many chickens would you... Would you uh, uh, in, in all honesty, we go through maybe five or six birds a year, so it's oh. not a... It's so not a typical a, family eats way more chicken. Okay, exactly. all right, because I was sort of feeling sorry for the chicken there. The chicken cannon is also the flight recorder cannon. We do a lot of... Uh, simulations of crashes on flight okay. recorders. It's just got a bunch of memory chips and they can store all the conditions of the aircraft including the uh, voice recordings. We're gonna take this sucker, fire it out of our cannon at 350 miles an hour yeah. and stop it in, a, in about two feet. Three, two, one, fire! That was a pretty big bang. <laughs> there you are, Steve. We love it when nothing breaks. Yeah. And if you got a bang out of that, see what kind of impact this has. Todd also helps the National Research Council test bulletproof jackets. Oh, cool little machine. Yeah. Right to the end. First, we cut and sew Kevlar material to make the lining of a bulletproof jacket. That's for like the, uh, the shoulder area, I guess. Then we make several nine millimeter bullets. And this won't blow up on there. Absolutely not. 
And that's a real bullet now. And finally, it's time to ready, aim, fire. Okay. Let's go see. There's the bullet. So it's a little warm. It's more than a little warm. But there's the bullet stopped. Still, I guess if you were wearing the vest, that would hurt a wee bit. Well, but you'd, you'd be alive. You'd be alive and you'd uh, live to talk about it to your yeah. grandchildren. Yeah. It's Aerodynamics! So it's hats off to the hardworking people at the National Research Council. Oh, and um, uh, apologies to the chicken. Coming up, it's a living place, some winter games. Holy! 